be seven o'clock, old or dark, and never it's time for Pastor Mark Bevels with Christ in Action. How are we doing, Pastor, today? Hey, faithful, it is a great day, a thankful Thursday to be alive in the Lord, and we're giving him thanks. It is. You know, time is passing by so fast, Pastor. Uh, today is actually Thursday. It just seemed like it was Monday. I know, and, and we're almost at the end of January in 2022. Ain't that the truth? God has truly been good to us. Yes, And I is. know that you got a powerful word this morning. It's going to help us along the way. So, Tennessee Valley, join us now for Pastor Mark Barrows with Christ in Action. Take yeah. it away, Pastor. All right, indeed, delighted to be sharing the good news this morning as we talk about time. And we're, of course, declaring it's time. And it's time because whenever God is present, he is at work, working all things after the counsel of his own will, as we're taught in Ephesians chapter 1. And we're also encouraged to know in Romans chapter 8 and verse 28, that all things work together for good to those who love God and are called according to his purpose. And then he said something in verse 29 of Romans 8. He says, for whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his own son. Notice the predestination thought and idea connected to everything working together for our good. I declare to you that you have been predestinated in Christ to the adoption of sons as children of the Most High God and as being uh, adopted that you are accepted in him. And so, friend, as we were talking yesterday about Jesus and John chapter 11 and his friends Mary and Martha and brother Lazarus who had died as Jesus was in another city. He had become ill and they had sent for Jesus. And uh, it looked like the time had passed that the opportunity for them to see their brother live on and to, uh, to live in this life as we know it uh, had passed. And uh, Jesus uh, came again to speak to them that I'm the resurrection. They believed in the resurrection. He said, they, we know we'll see him in the resurrection at that day. But Jesus said, I am the resurrection. That that statement is, is just so resonates with power and presence that uh, whatever we think is past in our lives, that we need not think that it's past nor that it's future. When he said, I am the resurrection, it echoed again what God told Moses as he appeared to him in the book of Exodus and began to summons him to his purpose and call to go back to Israel and bring deliverance to his people from bondage in, in Egypt, that, he, that I am the resurrection. And so he asked him, he said, take me to the place where you have laid his body. And she, they said to him, <clears throat> we know that even now that whatsoever you will ask, that it will be done for you. See, that's the response of knowing that it's time and knowing the presence of God in your life, that knowing that there are no limits with God. We're not to limit God. At that point, they took the limit off of the way they thought things should have gone and what was possible. And they stepped up to Jesus to allow him to be who he is in their lives. That's what we're saying when we talk about it's time. It's time to let him be who he is. Don't constrain him. It's an interesting thing as we talk about the power of God in us. In 2 Corinthians chapter 10, it says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God pulling down strongholds, casting down imaginations and high things, watch this, that exalt themselves against the knowledge of God. Unknowingly, unwittingly, our experiences, things seem to have passed, hopes and dreams seem to be delayed. And you know, we can lay down uh, our confidence and our faith and trust that it's time for me <clears throat> it's time for my business. It's time for the dream, the gift, the calling, the desire that God has put in my heart. 
Well, I declare to you that just as Jesus said, he is the resurrection, he is the life, and that his presence in your life, as you call upon him and as he comes and is where you are, makes all things possible. Of course, we know the end of the story, how God raised Lazarus from the dead, called him forth, and uh, said, loose him and let him go. I declare today, you are loosed. Your dreams are loose, your hope, your visions, the plans and purposes that God has for you as you trust in the living God who is the resurrection. This has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Of course, right here on this Gospel Explosions Outreach to the Tennessee Valley and beyond. Every single day is what we declare, the love of God. That together, we're the difference that makes the difference. So awaken this purpose of knowing him. It's love for us. Amen, Pastor. We thank you for being obedient to God, serving the people of God each and every day of your life. Yes, and thank you to you as well and what you and the Gospel Explosions family do every single day. All right, we in it together and we in it to win it. <laughs> Amen. All right. Well, hey, as you say, have a great day on purpose. All right. You too. Bye bye. bye. All right. That's awakened to the purpose of God and mobilized his mission in making him known and sharing his love with others. Have a great day today. We'll talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye.